By updating breaking news, a small vigil tonight outside the home where a mother and daughter were killed in a fire. Four other people were hurt. This is the city's Gresham neighborhood, and tonight, investigators are looking into the family's claim that someone set that fire on purpose. Alexis McAdams is live for us at Christ Hospital tonight, where those victims are, who survived are recovering, Alexis. Good evening, Ravi. Those four people still here at Christ Medical Center in Oak Lawn recovering from those injuries after they did escape from that fire early this morning in the city's Gresham neighborhood. At this time, the mother and daughter have both passed away as Chicago Fire tries to figure out exactly how this all started. Tonight, a mother and daughter now gone after losing their lives in a house fire overnight. How can they both just like go at the same time? Family members say someone set the house on fire while 10 year old Portia Ford and 33 year old Aisha Ford were asleep. She went back in to get her daughter. They passed away right there in the doorway, and I think she had the baby, she had the baby in her arms. This new surveillance video shows the fire engulfing that home around 3 o'clock this morning in the 8600 block of South Hermitage. Chicago fire crews worked to save the six people inside. Four made it out. The family tells ABC7 they believe that fire was started on purpose by someone who had threatened Aisha. He said how he's going to torch the house. He's going to burn the house down. And he killed my two little cousins, you know what I'm saying? Her and her daughter. At this time, investigators haven't released details about what caused the fire, but arson investigators and arson dogs are on scene. As family grieves this unimaginable loss, they're saying goodbye to a mother and daughter who were just getting ready to go back to school Monday morning. Her daughter is a replica of, of her. She was sweet, she was kind. That's one of the sweetest people I've ever met in my life. Yeah, horrible for the family today as they tried to grieve and they're still planning a funeral and so much more is going on as those four people once again are recovering tonight. Investigators say this is an active and ongoing investigation asking anyone with information to give them a call. You can remain anonymous. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.